Hey crew, today's all about the immune system. I'm gonna dig in a little bit with what I've seen in practice over the last two to three months. Um, symptoms as to what people are talking about, what they're struggling with a little bit more. So the immune system has to do, well, stress affects how the immune system works. Hello, let's enter the last four months. I'm not gonna talk about that. We know it's evident, right? But what we don't know usually is how is that stress affecting the immune system or how is that effect, stress affecting your emotional system? How is that affecting your digestive system, hormonal system, sexual system, everything? Today we're talking about the immune system though. Tons of increase in allergies, food sensitivities, bug bite sensitivities, sun sensitivities. So think of that as like the, the brain um, in hypervigilance, it's like it's all it's always like like this, right? It's rigid, it's not adaptable. So when we have another stressor, let's say um, ice cream on the Fourth of July, and that body is like, whoa, 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 we got too many things going on. We have too many stressors. The body can't actually process that ice cream in that moment with ease. And so whether it's a a tummy ache or throwing up or puffy eyes or swollen, sore throat, that's an immune response, okay? That means stress in some way, shape, or form is not allowing that immune system to work properly. So I also see it in food sensitivity. So when you are normally maybe not sensitive to that ice cream, now you are. Or maybe you have, um, I don't know, bread pudding. Does that have dairy in it with whipped cream? I suppose it does. So now you start to combine a few things and your, your, your body blows up. Or the kid that was at the lake last weekend and it got 10 mosquito bites and is now completely swollen. That is an immune response created by stress response created by dis-ease, which is interference in how the brain is communicating to the body. Enter chiropractic. Every adjustment downgrades the sympathetic nervous system. It downgrades the zit of the brain, the adrenaline of the brain, the fight or flight of the brain. It brings you into more of a calm, ease, flow state. Well, that's what we need the immune system to do and we, what we need it to be. So if you notice that your seasonal allergies are worse, or you reacted to the lake water, or bug bites, or sun, or anything that, or your lymph nodes are swollen and they're just not like going back to normal. That's another thing I've seen a ton of. That means your brain is stressed. That's what we do, is make sure there's healing that happens. Now, a kiddo that struggles with behavioral issues already, they're gonna be worse. We need to get the body back to balance, back to homeostasis, back to healing. And it's amazing that the adjustment can do that, but I don't know, after 15 years of that evidence over and over and over, the body needs ease or it creates sickness. If you are sick or you notice things are worse, like what was normal, your uh, mild seasonal allergies, you could take Claritin for a week, they'd go away and now they don't. That means stress is creating an imbalance in that immune system and in that gut. And the gut is the second brain, so that's likely you just don't feel that freaking good. If that's you, message me. Bye, happy Tuesday.